This is Andre Walker with GeorgiaUnfiltered.com. Tuesday, May 18th, the Atlanta City Council heard from residents of unincorporated South Fulton on the issue of annexation. My name is John Davis. I'm a resident of Sandtown, and I come to speak on behalf of the three petitions for annexation that are currently before you. Those of us who have submitted the petitions did so because we did not want to be a part of the city of South Fulton. Several residents of Sandtown approached the city of Atlanta. No one forced us, no one uh, held us at any kind of intimidation or threat. We reached out to the city of Atlanta, and the city of Atlanta provided us the resources to help 60% of us achieve for what we felt was in the best interest of Sandtown. We cannot have closed parks, closed schools just sitting around. Please stop this annexation proposal right now. Because the debate got personal at times, with some citizens accusing council members of having a hidden agenda. I ask Ms. Bottoms, what is your hidden agenda in this? What is your agenda? Stop using our kids for a hidden agenda. The allegations from Ms. Chapman drew a strong response from District 11 representative Keisha Lance Bottoms. I have never needed some sinister agenda to achieve anything. I've been quite capable of doing that through hard work. And I certainly don't need some sinister agenda to achieve anything now. And I certainly would not create one at the expense of my community. And so I think it's really unfortunate that you all have been misled. There's no desire to close Sandtown Park. Nobody has said that Sandtown Park will be closed. It will be part of the consideration if this annexation goes through as to whether or not we would purchase Sandtown Park, or whether or not it would remain with Fulton County. It will not be closed. You have been misled about the school issue. There is no desire to kick children out of anybody's school. What I do know about my community was during the last annexation, the school issue was a huge issue. The city of Atlanta has filed a lawsuit to address the school issue, to answer questions related to the schools. You have been misled. We do need your prayers. But when you pray, please also pray for those who are manipulating the facts. Please also pray for those who are playing on the emotions of this community by misleading them and lying to them. And then the other thing I think you really should pray for, because I pray for this too, I pray for the people who throw rocks and hide their hands. I pray for those who wallow in conspiracy theories, who wallow in malicious gossip, who make personal attacks. For what? I don't know what their agendas are. But I do know that there are people in your community, more than 60% who signed petitions saying we want to go into the city of Atlanta and they signed those positions because they were afraid of the creation of the city of South Fulton. It's what prompted the last annexation effort and it is what is prompting this annexation effort. So thank you for your prayers and I will continue to pray for my community because there are people who claim to have your best interests at heart who are seeking to divide this community. So we're going to pray for one another. For GeorgiaUnfiltered.com, I'm Andre Walker.